Hi everyone, welcome to another Travel Tip Thursday and today we're going to be talking about driving in Costa Rica. So you do not have to have a international driver's license when you come to Costa Rica to drive. You can just drive with your normal license from the country you're from, as long as it's obviously valid in the country. With that, you do get the ability to drive for three months, the same as your tourist visa would be, and then you'd have to leave the country and come back in. So even for people that have their residency in progress, if they're gonna drive in Costa Rica, they actually have to leave uh, every three months to renew their driving ability. It's uh, kind of a weird system, but that's how they have it set up here. So in regards to the quality of the roads here in Costa Rica, I guess it wasn't too many years ago that pretty much all of Costa Rica was really, really uh, bad, bumpy dirt roads and it was a little bit harder to get around. Uh, they've done a great job in the last few years of uh, paving, really, really nice, smooth, new pavement all over. Um, it's really easy to get around. Uh, there are, of course, a few of the coastal roads that are a lot harder to drive on and they're bumpy and stuff and it's better to have a SUV 4x4 quad or something like that when you go to those areas. But all in all, it's nice smooth pavement, really, really nice driving around. Um, they even have those little LED markers on most of the main roads and stuff so it's easy to see at night. And we find, I don't know, we've noticed everywhere we drive, it seems like they're doing more and more Pavement, yeah, so. there's a lot more road construction. Uh, again, they're repaving a lot of the areas. When we first came to Samra, they redid from the Coya all the way out to uh, Santa Marta and past that. So they they've done a lot of uh, a lot of paving. They're working on like on the way to Nosara. That's getting all uh, done. It's just taking some time. So it is getting done. It's a lot better than it has been. And again, yeah, you do need an SUV in some areas, but if you're going to most of the, the developed beach towns, you're going to be fine just using a normal car like a Corolla or a Yaris or something like that. Yeah, the nice thing about either uh, renting a quad here or owning a quad if you live here is uh, you can drive a quad pretty much anywhere. You can take it up in the mountains and the jungle roads or you can drive all around town. You can even drive on the highway. Uh, to a point, certain, yes. <laughs> yeah, certain spots. Uh, they'll let you drive up to certain speeds. So you can, yeah, you can have a quad as a vehicle down here, no problem. And, and then you can use it. It's more versatile. You can use it for on pavement or on some of the really rough roads. And for those of you coming from North America, it is left-hand drive here, so it's gonna be pretty comfortable for you to drive. It's not like when you go to Asia or Jamaica where it's right-hand drive. Uh, it's gonna be just like driving at home. You do gotta be cautious though. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, rules that are followed here. Uh, there's some that they over follow, like using their hazards, but then there's some things where they'll pass on corners. Motorcycles will pass on the shoulder and things like that. So you just have to be very cautious when you're driving. And in San Jose driving there, a city's a city, but there is some intersections like Shana's noticed when we're driving. Where they should have been stopped yeah. or like a yield sign or something, so stop light. <laughs> maybe the sign's missing now and they just haven't replaced it, but you do have to be very cautious, especially driving in the cities. So one of the first things we noticed when we moved here and we started driving around was the single lane bridges. So you'll just be driving along and all of a sudden you'll come into this little tiny narrow bridge and you'll see a sign that says say it's seda or it's c-e-d-a i yeah, don't know Ceda exactly i should know by now how to pronounce <laughs> it but i don't i never looked it up or heard anybody say it um but it's seda or seda uh, that may, that basically means stop and yield and let the oncoming traffic come before you go. So whenever you come to that point and you see that, just make sure that you do stop. There's a lot of people that don't and we've seen, well, almost witnessed some accidents yes. due to that. Again, cautious Pay driving. attention. Yeah. So that's it for this video. I hope this helps in planning on your trips to Costa Rica if you're going to plan on renting a car and driving. Uh, just a few little tips to help with that. Uh, hopefully you don't hear the parrots in the background. They're up in the tree over here. Well, hopefully you do because it's nice to hear nature, <laughs> yeah. but hopefully it didn't hopefully ruin the video. Hopefully our voices are, are louder than them. I, they should be. Yeah, they've just taken residence in the big tree here above Sicasa. So that's a cool thing about staying with us here at Sicasa is you get all sorts of wildlife around. So if you are interested in booking with us, visit sicasasamar.com. has all the information there. And uh, yeah, that's it for this Travel Tip Thursday. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do. And also hit the bell notification and you'll get notified when we come up with new videos and yeah we will see you in the next video ciao ciao do as much as we can before we start sweating yeah i'm gonna do those two and then or do you want to alternate yeah my head's kind of cut off a bit i can zoom it out a bit i'll cut your head off you would <laughs> which one are we saying hi yeah introduce ourselves no we don't do that no with that you do get the the three months driving uh of, <laughs> They've been really working hard on, you know, really. D I'm not gonna start over. Three months to renew their driving. A bit. Let me get rid of, rid of my sweat stash.
Too bad it's so hot here oh, in so warm. summer Costa Rica. <laughs> and humid right Ooh. now. <laughs>